this euphoric feeling for for days and, and a number of weeks afterwards. But eventually, um, eventually it all changed. I think it was about six weeks after when um, when everything seemed to come crashing down. Some months after the disaster, in the photo library of the newspaper The Press and Journal, I was horrified to find photographic evidence of the way I had felt. I was so ashamed that I stole the photograph. I didn't want anyone to see it, ever. It was that look on my face that I could not bear to think of. There I was, smiling and puffing out my chest, so pleased with myself while traumatised survivors and stricken families were suffering terribly. I felt so guilty. That's Eric. I can now put the photograph back where it belongs. I have come to understand that the disaster affected people differently. The excitement and exhilaration I felt was my experience of Piper Alpha, and it was okay. There she is. There it is. Makes her stand up in the back of your neck. There, but for the grace of God, go us in. Strange thing now that. What's happening now? Names and faces are passing by, you know. Yeah. I think I've told you before, when one in particular, Joey Spears, you know, see Jim often in my dreams, you know. I still pray for him. I didn't tell you I had a dream last night. I was uh, I was lying in my bed. I you know I was feeling a bit queasy because um, because of all the movement, and uh, I I thought I'd woken up, and there was somebody standing there in front of me, and he had uh, offshore offshore gear on, and he was bald and he was drinking in water. Good, good, yeah, terrifying. I was all right actually. Yeah, I, it wasn't yeah. no, it wasn't menacing. He was you know it was a friendly yeah. face. Yeah. Let's go home. 